Hey, it's Mary. I'm an online reseller and I go by Blue Dane Vintage. And um, I just wanted to share a haul that I got from the bins a couple weeks ago to mostly uh, send to thread up. Um, I love sourcing clothes, but I hate listing clothes. So I'm, I've kind of gotten addicted to um, just digging through the bins for some clothes to send in to thread up or take to buy, sell, trade. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share the latest haul that I got and let's get right into it. The first thing I have here is a Kenneth Cole kind of jacket, like a, almost like a trench style. I noticed that the bottom button is missing right here. So I may have to fix that or do something about that. It's pretty wrinkled and we'll have to get it straightened out. The next thing I found is this is called Hem and Thread. I have no idea. I'm still learning brands and I don't know if I'm picking up with things or not but I'm experimenting and learning as I go. This is like a vest and I don't know if it's vintage. It's kind of like a I would say like a login look maybe. It's got like a it's real wide but it's really cute. So we'll see how that goes. The next thing I have is this Isabel maternity little black dress. It's really cute. It's kind of got ruching on the sides. It's stretchy. And so we'll see how that goes. Next I have a pair of jeans by So. I don't know if So SO stands for something or if it's just So is the actual brand. But I thought they were cute jeans. And we'll see how they do. This is a Maurice's little um, camo cropped jacket with a raw hem and some embroidery at the back. Really, really cute. Then this is a Marilyn Monroe um, kind of lingerie wear. It's like a, almost like a little slip dress. So cute. It's real stretchy and soft. With lace at the bottom. And then I, I don't know what brand this is. It doesn't say, but it's like a, a plus size um, swim top. I thought it was a really cute print. Again, there was no, there's no um, name tag inside, so I don't know who that is. This is a brand I've never heard of, Bold Elements. Just a little black top, long sleeve, with a really cute detail at the V-neck. Next is this L.L. Bean. Another little, just a little black basic top, almost a boat neck, kind of a square boat neck with long sleeves. Then I don't know who this is, probably some mall brand, I don't know. Love J, just a cute little animal print top. The front has the leopard and then the back is like a lace animal print detail. Thought it was cute. Then a pair of uh, Nike, Jordan or whatever, like basketball shorts. These I'll either sell on eBay or I'll take them to um, like Plato's or a buy, another buy, sell, trade store local. And this is um, Balcom. Just a Balcom polo. I'll probably again take these, take this into a buy sell trade store because it's a guys and thread up doesn't take guys stuff. Or else maybe I'll try it on Depop. And then this is the Simpsons tag, like a little kid's Simpsons hoodie. I might need to do a soak in some oxy on this one. And I could maybe send this to thread up because they take kids stuff, but I also might try it at, on uh, online or at uh, Play-Dohs or something. 
And here is a North Face uh, guys plaid flannel. Again, I'll take this to buy, sell, trade, see if they give me anything for it. And then this is a really pretty scarf. I love the colors in this. It's got like a paisley print with blue. Well, not like paisley leaves or something with blue, white, and an orange, an orangey red. Let's see if there's a tag on here. Let me see. Where'd it go? Oh. Uh, DBY, it says. Let's see. I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was cute. So I'll send that in and see what I get. And, um, oh, I forgot to mention that the I got like 80 pounds. So I paid like $103 for 80 pounds of clothes. And I'm going to go get another pile. So I'll be right back. And pardon the ring light on my glasses. I just can't see the tags when I'm, when I don't have my glasses on. So the next item is just a Gildan tag men's t-shirt, like a racing shirt. I don't know if that's worth anything. 17th annual CarQuest Auto Parts Nationals. I have no idea. Oh, Seattle, Washington. I have no idea. Then this Under Armour um, performance top, whatever you want to call it, performance fabric shirt. I'll probably take that to play out or something, see if they want that. This is, oh, Simply Vera, Vera Wang. A pair of like stretchy pants. Almost like jeggings or something. And they have pockets. Do they? Let me see. No, I lied. They don't have pockets. But real cute. Oh, there is a pocket on the back. Just a cute basic, and there's a big thread right there. Basic comfy pant. Then we have Silence and Noise. I don't know, is that an um, anthropology brand? I have no idea. Let me button this up. It's a really cute jacket. Just a basic black blazer, women's blazer. I'll send that in with Red Up. Then we have French Laundry. Um, a denim skirt. Stretchy on the sides with a little slit in the back. Then Christopher and Banks. And again, all these are, I'm going to send most of this in to thread up. Just a pair of jeans. I don't know, are they, no, they're not like really mom jeans, but um, just a straight leg. Like, you, like I said, I'm learning. I'm not here to teach anybody. I'm just learning and sharing and being transparent as I go along. <laughs> There's so many other people that are doing way better than I am. And I am just going along. This is Bob Mackey. Just like a long, like a, like a moo moo type dress. I don't know. I just heard that the real real takes Bob Mackey stuff, and I've never tried anything at the real real. So maybe I'll open an account and see, start looking for brands that they take. Uh, this is Vineyard. Never heard of that, but I thought this was a cool hoodie. says Bahamas. I might try this one at uh, Play-Doh's before I send it into Thread Up. And then Stitch and Pine. I don't think I've heard of that before, but this is just a cute little skirt. A little orange and white plaid skirt. Uh, and this is A and S, I don't know what this is, A and S R S B S N S. 
I don't know what brand that is, but it's a pair of uh, corduroy pants. I don't think they're women's. My son actually might like these. I'll, have, I'll let him try them on. If not, maybe I'll take them to Play-Dohs or list them on Depop along with all my other platforms. Then a pair of Levi's. Um, Levi's, oh, they're 501s. Whoopsie. I highly doubt they're vintage or anything. Made in the Dominican Republic. Just a pair of 501s. I'll list these on eBay or take them to Plato's. Next we have, I believe this is vintage, a Toltex uh, crew neck sweatshirt, Santa Fe Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. I don't know, it it's, strikes me as vintage, so I'll try that on maybe eBay and Depop. Then a Banana Republic black women's black blazer, really nice. And then this is like a convertible bra top. It's like padded and it's the straps. There's straps that I don't know if there's supposed to be more straps, but there's like a, a couple of layers for another strap to go. I have no idea. And the brand is Kindred Bravely. Never heard of that. I don't know if it's anything. We'll see. And then a vintage Wrangler pearl snap short sleeve plaid western shirt. I'll try this on eBay and Depop. And also Mercari. I cross post everything to Mercari too. And that is, we're at 30, 30 items so far. And I believe this is vintage. I don't know, Jan Sport, just an Oregon Ducks crew neck sweatshirt. So another thing for online, eBay, Mercari, Depop. I think I'm going to start on Grail too, just for fun, just to see how I do. Um, this is H&M. Just a kid's snowsuit with a cute, um, like a reflective little thing on the back. And I'll probably try this on eBay. Very cool. Ooh, where is my count? One. Oh, I can go back and see. Um, and here is a pair of Parish jeans. Never heard of that brand. I thought they were cool looking. There's cool detail on the back there. And these are, it says size 36, but I don't think that's men's. Oh, Parish Nation. There's another tag. Yeah, like I said, I've never heard of it. Maybe they are. I think they are guys, actually. Just straight leg jeans. Then Ann Taylor, a pair of white linen cropped pants, really nice. I don't know, I'll see if Real Real takes this kind of stuff if I start doing Real Real. Do they take Ann Taylor? I don't know. We'll see. Then just a Nike, this is kind of, they have the tag kind of weird. It's like upside down, like that. It's supposed to go. Oh, I see. It was just twisted around. Duh. There we go. <laughs> just a Nike t-shirt. Uh, I'll see if Plato's wants that. Then a Land's End. Oopsie. Get it down there. There we go. A lands in just a basic black dress. Is it a sheath dress? And in the light there, I can see something. I might need to put this through the wash. But it's a, just a nice basic 
office dress with pockets and short sleeves. And a posit. Next is a pair of H and M. There you go. Show up. Just they're like a linen feel to them. Uh, kind of wide leg. Tropical print pants. I will probably try those at um, at Plato's or another buy sell trade that's local to me. And here is a little Forever Twenty One. Just kind of a corduroy little dress. Again, I'll try that at buy sell trade. I won't send that into thread up. They don't they don't really give much for these mall brands here. And this I think is vintage Oregon Ducks official duckwear t-shirt. Actually I know it's vintage because it is it's single stitch. Oh and look at that on the arm. I just noticed that. If I could get it there. Yeah, it's a single stitch. God, I can't even get it to focus. There we go. Yeah, so this is definitely vintage. So I will try that on eBay and Depop, etc. Um, and this is just a little baby blanket. I thought it was so cute. Um, it's cloud, cloud sky. I don't know. Is that Target? Maybe? I don't know. But it's got little pink and gray birdies on it. Like a gauze material, no stains. So I'll probably do that on eBay and Mercari. And this is New York and Company. Just a stretchy skirt, black and white geometric print. Send that to thread up. And now the count is at 40 pieces. Next we have what I believe is. Is this vintage Liz Claiborne? Liz Golf. It's like a, a flannel um, or fleece plaid pullover. It's got this little zipper pull that says Liz Golf and like a drawstring waist right here. Then a um, Izod Lacoste, whatever is that? I don't know if that's a vintage tag or not, but just a men's polo. Try that on eBay and Depop. Then just a Stanley XXL men's flannel button up. Then this is Nicole by Nicole Miller. I don't know if that's a, an expensive. I know Nicole Miller is like a, you know, is it a high-end brand? I don't know. Just this bodycon dress with a lace look to it. I'll check and see if Real Real takes Nicole Miller. We'll see. And this says Love Audrey, but that logo looks like um, the Roxy logo to me. So maybe this is a Roxy brand. Just a little sheer top, like a loose fitting top. Very cute. Then a Columbia men's golf shirt. That'll go on eBay and Mercari. Then elements with a Z. Petite, just a little brown and white floral skirt with a little flare at the bottom. That'll send a thread up. And this is casual corner annex. Is that still around? This will go to thread up. It's just a little um, floral top with long sheer sleeves. Ooh, my back is killing me. And then this is a gap, just a pullover crew neck sweater. I don't know if this is a guy's or a girl's. It's a size large. I like when you look down, you can see all my gray hair. What's it made out of? I don't, it doesn't feel like wool. Actually, I think it's a women's because it's got like a sparkly threads throughout it. And it's, um, yeah, nylon acrylic wool. Yeah. I know it's not sweater season, but I'll send it to thread up anyway. And if they send it back to me, I'll send it back to them. Here's another pair of Levi's 
559s men's jeans and I'll either put them on eBay or take them to uh, buy sell trade now we are at 50 pieces I'll go get some more next is a divided H&M just a little ribbed gray knit dress this will go to buy sell trade see what they'll give me for it then New Balance um, ladies like cropped yoga pants or leggings with a little stripe down the side also go to thread up and this cute little Hannah Anderson little eyelet sun bonnet I'll send this to thread up because they take kid stuff so cute then this halogen just a little like a jersey knit skirt with little mesh pockets I'll try that on thread up if they send it back to me I'll either take it to the buy sell trade or I'll send it back to them uh, then we have a pair of just H&M you know what those tags look like just some slacks pants good for the office I'll take those to buy sell trade Then a pair of Nautica women's jeans. They're like a dark wash, almost black. But they're really wide leg, kind of a nautical feel to them. Per Nautica. Cute, cute back pockets. Send those to thread up. And then this is a Gymboree little girl's... Uh, camo jacket it says hello sunshine on the back I might send this I'll either send it to thread up or I'll send it to one of my nieces in Colorado I'll probably do that so cute then we have a Sonoma life and style I don't know is that Kohl's just a little blouse kind of a is that like a batik kind of a print uh, three-quarter sleeve I will go to thread up and another Sonoma pair of pants kind of straight leg those will go to thread up and then a style and co petite just a little beige jacket almost like a thin denim very cute my back is killing me. This is why I hate listing clothes because I have to lean over my bed. To, if I do a flat lay, I do it on my bed and I have to stand up. Either way, I have to stand up and it's my back just gets so sore. That's one of the reasons I don't like listing clothes myself. So I think we're at 60 pieces and moving on. We have a pair of Gloria Vanderbilt uh, like velvet burgundy uh, track pants that'll go to thread up and then this I thought was such a pretty print I thought it was a dress at first but it's a it's actually an apron like a bib apron uh, by April Cornell and I'll do this on eBay and Mercari I could maybe get 20 to 30 dollars for it I think I just thought that was so pretty then we have city streets I don't know probably a just a cheapy brand a pair of um, I don't know are these booty shorts just light pink I'll probably try these at um, Plato's and then this is by head the sportswear sports stuff company um, and I wasn't sure what it was but I thought this has got to be something and I looked it up and it's like it holds swim fins so I could maybe get 10 to 15 dollars for this on eBay give that a try and this is democracy just a cold shoulder little top cute print and then a pink 
uh, Victoria's Secret, just a little bra top with uh, the logo along the band there. It's got some pilling on the inside, so I'll work on it a little bit. And I'll send that to thread up. My pile is getting huge. And then just a little bikini top. That is by Surfside. I'll take that to Play-Dohs and see if they want it. Then we have a Guess graphic t-shirt. I'll probably take that to Play-Dohs. And then a pair of Mossimo Supply Co. boot cut jeans. I'll send these to thread up. See what I can get for them. Cut. My pile is getting huge. It's going to fall over. And then a pair of Rue Plus. Rue 21 plus size women's jeans. I'll send these to thread up. Just a kind of a tapered leg. Yep. Now the count is at 70. I'll go get some more. Next we have this XOXO little cropped jacket with a really cute lining in it. This will go to thread up. And I've never heard of this brand, Reitman's. Just a little pair of petite cropped pants. I'll try those on thread up. Then cache, like this dressy blouse. It's really pretty, like got a shimmery blue purple and fancy cuffs there or sleeves. Try that on thread up. Then just a basic time and true, um, uh, what do you call it? Waffle weave. Thermal. Just a thermal Henley. I'll try that at Plato's, see if they want that. And then this, there's no brand on this, but it looked like a real good quality, just a, an athletic bra with a zip up at the front. I'll try that on thread up. And then this is Coldwater Creek. Real pretty teal dark blue short sleeve sweater with a cow neck. That'll go thread up. And this is American Living. I don't know, but this looks just kind of like a grandpa vest to me. I don't know if it's men's or women's, but I'll look it up and see, and I might just do, if it's a women's, I'll send it to thread up. If not, I'll try it on eBay and um, Mercari and Depop. And this is Spence. Just an embroidered floral little dress, real cute, with these three-quarter sheer sleeves. That'll go to thread up. My mouth is getting dry. And then these Adidas, just kids, basketball shorts. I think they might be too small for my nephews. I'll see if they'll fit them. If not, um, I'll send them to thread up since they do kid stuff. And then... I've heard that 100% cotton made in USA um, bandanas go well, and this doesn't say made in USA, but it says 100% cotton, so I'll list that online. And then I'm just going to try this purse, it's um, Heidi Dobrot, it's like a really cute little tote purse. I'll try that on thread up. Now our count is at, I believe, 80. Next we have a Gap puffy vest, brown. That'll go to thread up. And then American Eagle Outfitters t-shirt, just a graphic Oregon t-shirt. I might see if my son or his girlfriend want this. Otherwise, I'll take it to you by sell trade. Now we have simply Vera Vera Wang, just gray um, boot cut. Yeah, boot cut, just stretchy pants. Those will go to thread up. 
And then just a little Nike Girls athletic bra top. Um, I'll see if one of my nieces wants this or I will send it to thread up. And here is Ink International Concepts um, off shoulder top. It's like a really pretty floral. That'll go to thread up. And a Lucky Brand Women's um, Elastic Waist Drawstring Cargo Shorts. Those will go to thread up. And then just a Champion Athletic Bra to thread up. And then this is very faint. This is Tranquility. It's just a black stretchy skirt. It's a skirt with shorts underneath. You can't really see. And those will go to thread up. And then a pair of Tommy Hilfiger. I think it's women's because it's a size. Oh no, it's their men's. I'm sorry. Size 38. Um, just are these chinos? I don't know. Shorts. Those I will either try to sell online or I'll take them to buy, sell, trade. And then this adorable little pinafore little girl's dress. It's vintage and there's no tag, so I think it's handmade. Um, that is so sweet. That'll go, I think that'll go with me to the next vintage market that, that I do with my sister and I every couple months. So sweet. And that is 90 pieces. Next we have this Kenneth Cole Reaction, like a, um, like a sweatshirt material, women's little coat that doesn't have the tie with it, but we'll try sending it into ThreadUp and see if they give me anything for it. And then there's no brand on these, but they look good quality. It's like a shape, shapewear tights or leggings, and it's got this kind of not a mesh, but like a like a uh, design on it down the leg. And I couldn't figure out what brand those were, so I'll send those to thread up and see if they take them. Then a pair of men's Boston Traders, size 38, just khaki shorts. Those will go on eBay or buy, sell, trade. And then I've never heard of this brand, Stephen Berry's double down jacket warmth and comfort foam like a, a puppy jacket and i believe it's men's so i'll probably try this on ebay and mercari maybe depop and then i was really excited to find this juicy couture white puffy coat the last little jacket i, I found at the bins by juicy couture Oh, there's a few stains on it. I might have to work on that. Um, anyway, I got like 60 bucks for the last Juicy Couture jacket that I sold on ThreadUp. So we'll see how we do on this one. And then a pair of youth um, motocross pants. They were in really good condition. So I will put these on eBay. I haven't comped these out, so I don't know what they're worth, but they're in really good shape. So... I think I can get a good price for those. Then, um, gosh, I'm getting tired. I'm sure you are too. Just this um, Brett Favre little jersey. I'll try that at, at Buy, Sell, Trade. Let's see if they want to give me anything for it. And this Life is Good. That's a pretty good brand. Just a basic uh, long sleeve shirt with the logo on the front and on the back. I'll send that to thread up. And then this looked good, it's it's Mambo Sock. So I looked it up while I was there, so I don't remember what the comps were, but it, they were pretty good. So I'll try this on eBay, eBay Mercari Depop. And then this was in with the all the clothing, this cute little giraffe. I don't think he's any big brand, but he looked good quality, and I thought I can put him on eBay, maybe for 15 to 20. We'll see. Next 10. 
So now the count is at 100. And the next item we have is this um, t-shirt, this Pawn Stars t-shirt from their gold and silver pawn shop in Las Vegas. So I'll try that on eBay. And then just another basic time and true uh, thermal Henley. I'll try that at buy, sell, trade. And then this Lane Bryant, just a basic cami, stretchy cami. It's in really good condition. It's not pilly or anything. So I'll send that to thread up. And then this little Daisy Fuentes t-shirt dress with a really cute, like a little elephant print. Oh, and I just see there's a hole. Dang it. Um, I don't know. I, I'll try this on thread up and see if they take it. We'll see. And then a pair, let's see, oh no, this U.S. Polo Association, like little polo t-shirt dress. I'll try that on thread up or buy, sell, trade. We'll see. And then it, this pair of GS115 men's jeans. I've never heard of that brand, but they looked kind of cool. So I grabbed those and I'll try those at buy, sell, trade or eBay. And this is a Zara WB collection. Like a little, is this a little girl's dress or is it like a top, a women's top? It looks pretty small on the top. So do they do little girls dresses? I don't know. I'll try that on thread up. And then this Style & Co. Little tropical Hawaii t-shirt. I'll send that to thread up. And then a pair of vintage Catalina men's swim trunks. So cool. Um, I'll try those. I'll probably take these to the next vintage market that I do with my sister, or I'll try them on eBay and Depop. And I thought this was so cute. It's a vintage uh, baby quilt, handmade, I think, with these little butterflies. Really good condition. I don't see any stains. Um, so I'll bring this to the next vintage market. I thought that was so cute. The count is at 110. Just a few more. Next is this vintage Ultra Sweats Crew Neck Pink Kitty Cat Sweatshirt. So cute. That'll either go to the next vintage sale and if it doesn't sell there, there, I will put it on eBay and Depop. Then just another boring basic time and true uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It's not waffle weave. It's thermal Henley. And I know this is a women's, but my son likes thermal tops. So I'll see if he wants this and the other two that are in different colors. And then we have Dickie's t-shirt the original Dickies t-shirt I'll take that to buy sell trade see if they want that and then I am not I don't remember what this brand is it's like an athletic brand but these are like basketball shorts um, and I'll just I'll try those at the buy sell trade thread up or not thread up but uh, play-dohs or whatever my mouth is getting so dry okay this is Walter Baker I do not know this brand but it's just a cute little light denim crop top with three quarter little bell sleeves. Super cute. I mean, it's not denim, but it's like a light denim color. Super cute. That'll go to thread up. Then a gap, just a sleeveless little t-shirt dress with a drawstring waist and like little slits on the sides. That'll go to thread up. And then I believe this is Champion, another athletic bra. That'll go to thread up. And then another little athletic bra. I don't know the brand, but it's cute. It's got really cute little straps on it. They, whoever had it cut the tag out. Where is that? 
Oh, I don't know. I was thinking of something else. But yeah, I don't know what brand this is. But it's cute and good quality. Then uh, Maurice's, like a um, corduroy little skirt. That'll go to thread up. And then this cute little hat by Swiss Tech. Um, I don't know if I'll send that to thread up or try it on eBay, but I thought it was super cute. And another bandana, 100% cotton. I don't know if it's made in USA, but I, maybe I'll list those two together on eBay. Let's see how we do with that. Then Armani Exchange t-shirt. I'll probably try that at, at what the buy sell trade, Plato's Closet or another place. Um, and then just this funny office Christmas t-shirt. I'll put that on eBay and then if it doesn't sell by around Christmas time maybe I'll try it at, at the buy sell trade. And then this infinity scarf. I don't know what brand it is, but I thought it was nice. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the tag. Here we go. Almost done. David and Young. But it's a real soft, kind of fuzzy infinity scarf. I know it's not the season, but I'll try that on thread up. And then last but not least, we have a Snuggie. A um, zebra print Snuggie. And I thought of my son when I saw this because he's a gamer and he likes to sit at his computer in his pajamas and there's the brand and that is everything we are at 125 pieces and i paid um 102.68 will round up to 103 um so that makes it like 82 cents per item so hopefully i can make some good money on this stuff thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.